to all those serving in the Army, in the Marines, in the Air Force, in the Navy, that you have the absolute right to refuse to take part in these criminal wars, and that's the right that all of you should exercise. You have no reason to go put your life on the line and kill and die for profit. We've been to Iraq. We've been to Afghanistan. And we know what these wars are really about. And we joined the military for many reasons. Because we need a college education. Because we need a job. Because we need health care. And then we joined the military. And they tell us that our enemies are poor people in caves in Afghanistan. Or poor people in the deserts of Iraq. But we've been to those countries. And we know that our enemies are not other poor people abroad. Our enemies are the people that laid us off from our jobs. That denied us health care. That make it impossible to get an education. Our enemies are not in the poorest countries on the planet. But right here in the richest one. Oh. Now these wars, the occupations of Iraq and Afghanistan alone are costing over $700 million every single day. This is a crime every single day while so many of us are hurting. Well, I think all of us here and the vast majority of people in this country would agree that we can spend $700 million a day better than bombing people that we have no reason to bomb. We can spend $700 million a day rebuilding those countries we've destroyed. We can spend $700 million a day caring for the veterans we get home when they get home, and then we can spend $700 million a day giving every single person health care, a college education, a job, and a livelihood, and a home. That's what we need to be spending our money on. But this government is not going to do that. They're not going to use the money in that way. They're not going to end the wars. And they're not going to do it because it's not our government. It's their government. It's the government of the rich. It's the government of Wall Street, of the oil giants, of the defense contractors. It's their government. And the only language that they understand is shutting down business as usual. And that's what we're doing here today. And we're going to continue to do until these wars are over. Well, it's crystal clear now that these wars are going to continue and expand and go into other countries. That is the trend. That is what we know, that there is perpetual war. And it's only going to stop if the people stand up and stop it. And that's what we're going to do, sisters and brothers. And a lot of people ask me, what do we do? Because we all know things are bad. We all see the atrocities on TV, we read about it, we experience it. People always ask, what do I do? Because we always want to know what to do. Do we vote? Do we support a politician? Uh, what, you know, do we join an organization? What do we do? Well, I'll tell you what we do, it's simple. We fight. We fight and we fight and we fight and we shut down our workplaces, we shut down our schools, we shut down the streets, we shut down business as usual, and we fight until we force the people in there to do what the people out here want. Because that's how we're going to get around and we're going to fight until there's not one more bomb drop, not one more bullet fired, not one more co a soldier coming home in a wheelchair, not one more family slaughtered, not one more day of U.S. imperialism. So let's fight to make that happen. We can do it today and then the days ahead. We have to fight to end these wars and create a better world, sisters and brothers. So join us in that fight. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah.